We're here with ESPN's Ed Werder. Uh, the Walton Penner family group uh, just announced as the new Broncos owners. Uh, what were some of your takeaways from the press conference? Well, I think it's uh, great for Denver that they have the richest owner in all of sports, and they have a Super Bowl winning quarterback who has two years left on his contract. And I thought it was interesting that they said that they, they made it clear they're not in an immediate hurry to do anything with a new stadium. I think it make, it's, it's smart to put that money initially into people on the field who are going to win and lose games. And Russell Wilson certainly qualifies in that regard. Yeah, we heard uh, Rob Walton say that uh, having a GM and a coach and a quarterback like Russell Wilson in place is uh, the key to success. Um, what do you think bringing in somebody, you mentioned uh, the wealth, bringing in a group like this uh, to the NFL, what do you think they'll be able to do for the Broncos and the league? I think they'll do anything for the league. Uh, I think having people with that kind of business savvy and reputation and the diversification of the group as a whole, including, you know, Condoleezza Rice, uh, I think makes for a great ownership in the NFL. And I think the Broncos are going to be capable of doing anything really that they want to that involves finance. And really, I'm not sure this isn't the first time that's ever been the case for as, as great an owner as Patrick Boland was, certainly never had the wealth and the financial flexibility that now is available to the Broncos. It seemed like maybe a stadium deal maybe is a little ways off, though, to at least 10 years or so. Yeah, I mean, they went out of their way to make the point that they still have 10 years on the lease and that they think it's still a great stadium and capable of hosting, you know, great entertainment events as well as uh, high-level NFL games. So, yeah, I got the sense that it's going to be a decade or longer before they show a lot of interest in building a new stadium. A record-setting deal for North American sports, though. Uh, what do you think that says about the state of the NFL right now? That's why the vote was 32 to nothing. <laughs> I want to know what the valuation of the franchise would have been without Russell Wilson involved in the acquisition. Um, I think it's it's just remarkable. Like, uh, you know, when, when, when Tepper bought the Panthers – like five years ago, it was for $2.2 million, and now the Broncos sell for more than twice that. I mean, it's just astonishing, the franchise valuations. And, oh, they're making, you know, zillions of dollars in profit every year, but when they make the most money is when they sell the franchise, which rarely happens in the NFL, which is why they go for this price. It is an exclusive club. Uh, do you think the Broncos, though, sort of a special franchise in, in terms of what Pat Bowling was able to build up and then just dominating that Rocky Mountain region? There's a little bit of extra value with that, too, right? Well, I think there certainly was to this particular ownership group. I think uh, they were, you know, Rob Walton made the point that, this was really the only franchise in the NFL that they had any interest in owning and that that interest has existed for more than 10 years. They began to informally inquire about it. So, yeah, I think this was a targeted opportunity for the Waltons, and I think that's great for Bronco fans. Like, the owners didn't just want to own any NFL franchise. They wanted to own this NFL franchise. It's like Jerry Jones in Dallas. Jerry Jones had opportunities to buy other franchises. He wanted to be the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, and that makes a difference, I think, ultimately, in the commitment that you're willing to personally put into your investment. Ed, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Good to talk to you. See you in Denver this week. Yeah, joint practices.